Hello YouTube, this is Mountain Man with BCB Bushcraft. I'm here to show you what I carry in my Max Edition Sabercat. This is kind of my bushcrafting bag. I always take it with me when I'm in the outdoors. This isn't really a guide of what I think you should carry. This is what I carry, and one thing you got to remember through this whole thing is a pack is an ever-evolving thing. And it's always going to be changing from season to season. And what you see here may be different the next time I go out in the wilderness. So, we'll get started. First off, you're going to see I've got a tarp right here. It's a good high quality tarp. Uh, I believe it's made out of mylar and some other stuff they use on the space station. Uh, I just got it so I don't really have any opinions on it yet, but I'm going to do a review on a lot of the stuff you're going to see in here soon coming up. Uh, I've been having a bunch of technical problems lately so I haven't been able to do any reviews or anything. So first off I got three tack ties up here. These are good for strapping on anything you find, uh, camera tripods, uh, walking sticks, anything like that, especially stuff for your shelter. Undo this right here. Under here I keep an emergency blanket. That's always good, especially if you find somebody along the trail who is maybe in a medical need. In shock or something. So first off, I've got some duct tape. Uh, I don't carry a full roll because that just takes up way too much space, but that's all you're really going to need. Next off, I've got a little cheapo razor blade type knife thing. They snap off. I just carry it in there as a backup in case something happens to my main blade. Rain poncho. Great for emergencies. Emergency poncho. But, you know, you should always have your rain gear or something with you. That's just a backup. Uh, you see my house keys there. I got a big carabiner. It's good for carrying buckets, and sometimes I have my dog with me, and I tie him up with that. Um, I got some Allen wrenches. Uh, the other thing you're going to see in here is some archery stuff, because I also use this bag when I go to shoot archery. So, yeah. And then, my latest thing I've got right here, and I'm going to do a review on it as soon as I get a chance to test it out. These are called uh, Knot Bones, I believe. They're by Night Eyes, and they're basically like a substitute for tying loops and stuff like that. So, I thought those were pretty cool. So I bought them. They're real cheap and I'm going to try them out and do a review on them. But, and then one last thing in here is a carpenter's pencil. Which, right there. Up into the next pocket, I got my antler keychain. Always good to be able to identify your pack as yours. If I can find the right zipper for that. Okay, so right here, I've got some good, uh, I guess, string-type cordage. It's real good for, like, snares and lashing, because it's really cheap. It's not expensive as paracord. i got a Bic lighter, which you don't really need. I just keep it there, because I do a lot of stuff with the scouts, and if somebody forgets their lighter, I'll loan them that one. Here's a turkey call. I like to carry at least one call that is relevant to the area I'm in. That way I can try to call in game. And right here, I've got storm matches. i got some other boxes in here. It's a product I'm testing right now. See if it's worth the money they cost. And then always I've got spare batteries for my Surefire 6P. And a flint and steel with magnesium on it. So this next pouch right here, I got Carmex. There's actually two of them in there now. I got a good Kamanga compass. This is real sturdy. It's military grade. And I really like it. I think it's the best compass you can really get. It's very versatile. I've got my Bushnell binoculars. And a little lens cleaning cloth. These are just kind of good to have with you, so you can see wildlife and stuff from far away if you can't get over there to it, if there's a river or something in the way. And sometimes they're a pain to get back in the little case. Next up, it looks like a wallet, but it was so big I couldn't really carry it in my pocket, so I turned it into a good first aid kit. Um, it's just a personal little one for cuts and scrapes, not really designed for any extreme bleeding. Some allergy medicine in there. But, that's another video. SAS Survival Guide. Um, I just like to kind of go out, especially when I'm out bushcrafting, and just try out the stuff they've got in here. 
different shelters and stuff. I just think it's fun to do that. See how good they really are. So keep that in a plastic bag because it's not waterproof. You need to make one like that. Got hot hands. Once again, that's more of an emergency thing. Next, I got food. Now, food is very important because I don't really want to go off trapping all kinds of stuff, especially if I'm out frequently because I don't have a hunting license or anything like that. But I just carry this for days and maybe an overnight. I got my expandable Sea to Summit little drinking cup. These are pretty nice. I'll do a review on them sometime down the road. They've got uh, measuring uh, measurements on the inside for liquids and stuff. And I'm not too impressed with the way it is when you're trying to hold it because it tries to collapse on you. I have a tin one, but that tends to make everything taste like tin, so this one's better. And then next up I got a serving of oatmeal, a serving of rice, some apple cider, hot chocolate, and tea. And there's also, there should be in here somewhere, little expandable wipes for cleaning. There they are, they fill out. These are great for doing dishes because they're so small, they don't take up any space as long as you keep them dry. And you get them wet, they'll expand into like, I think it's one hand towel or something. I haven't used them all that much because it's kind of wasteful if you don't need them. Don't put that aside, I'll put it back together later. The other thing, that pot that's there in, is good for boiling water and collecting stuff. You should always have a good pair of gloves. I carry work gloves and insulating gloves, which you'll see in the next pouch. These are really good. They're slit resistant. And they got the fingers cut off. They come like that from the factory. That way you can access your blades and stuff from your multi-tools and work straps and whatnot. I think they're great. <clears throat> You're going to see Strike a Fire down there. You don't really need that. That's just another one of those products I'm testing out. This is emergency tape. There's all kinds of uses with this stuff. It's self-fusing, permanent seal, waterproof, airtight. Um, it's got a 950 PSI tinsel strength, resists 500 degrees Fahrenheit, and insulates 8,000 volts. Uh, it resists all kinds of stuff. It's got all kinds of uses. There's a little paper on there. You can get it at any Ace Hardware store or up here in Washington if you find a McClendon's. I've seen it in there. Or as Forceman shows. Pliers, good if your car breaks down. But they're not going to do much for you. I keep them in there because I use this bag for more than bushcrafting. See matches in there, Strike a Fire, just products I'm testing out. I might or may not do a review on them. Uh, light stick. I use it as a backup to my flashlight. If something happens, I know exactly where this is. It's right down there in the side. I can get that out, break it open, especially if it's really dark, and just use that. Or it's like a lantern. Pack of tissue. Fire starting. Rekindling up your fire in the morning. And WD-40. Stainless steel eating utensils. WD-40 pen. These are really good. I was quite impressed with this. But I'll do a review on it sometime later. It's pretty much just for your blades, because you can't eat WD-40. Or so they say. It does not taste good. Just archery stuff. My bow stringer. Little things that go on the tips to protect them. Tabs and stuff for shooting. And string wax. Right here, I've got my Right in the Rain notepad. It's real good. I carry it because sometimes I do instructions. And i got to write down schedules and whatnot. There's a picture of a nice sheet I plan on making out of Kydex. You'll probably see that sometime in the future. I got my extra Zippo flints in there, right in the rain pen, another pen that I made out of antler. These are really, really great uh, notepads and the paper right here, this is just loose leaf, but it resists any kind of liquid. It's just really durable and I think it's well worth the money you spend on one of them. And then last, I got some of those baby type wipes. Um, they're good for cleaning up yourself. Because, you know, if you're out there for a long time, you're going to want to clean yourself up. Because some of the smells and stuff, especially for cooking, attract animals you don't necessarily want around. Especially if you're out there defenseless. 
next pouch right here, I got a little bag of toothbrush stuff. My Smith sharpener is already a view out there on that. So I won't do it again. It's still going good. And then right here, there will be another review on this. It is my fire starting kit. Uh, I make special fire starters that I use for preserving fires and stuff over time. I got my Vaseline and cotton balls in those two little shotgun shell containers. Uh, the really cool thing about those containers, I'll get one out right here, is one of the ends comes off. They're real easy to make. You just heat them up for about five seconds, the caps right here, and pull on them with a pair of pliers and they'll pop right off the plastic and then you cut another shell off and stick that end on there. And I thought they were pretty cool. I saw them on another video somewhere and I didn't want to buy them and I had all kinds of shotgun shells just laying around. They were empty, of course, and I melted them and pulled them apart and I'm very happy with that. Keep your Vaseline and whatnot in there. And then one last thing in this pocket is Predator Call. I do not suggest using one of these, especially if you're out with just a buddy or something. You do not want to attract predators to your campsite. That's just bad. In here I've got 50 feet of paracord, which we all know is good for pretty much anything. And then I've got a bandana. I'm not going to pull out of there. And then seal skins gloves and insulating liners. Anybody who's got these seal skins gloves knows they are waterproof to no end, but they do not insulate for crap. And that is it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I carry with me. I got my 30 some ounces water bottle right here in this little camouflage thing. Got it at Cabela's, stainless steel. Uh, I just got this the other day, so I haven't really tried it out yet. There's water in it. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope to get some more videos up soon. I know there hasn't been any videos that are new in a long time. Uh, don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. And you can give any suggestions for videos, ideas, and anything.